Hi, Paint Pouring People. Before I get started today, I wanted to read you a comment from one of my viewers. This is Karen Zimmer. She says, Dear Karen, your way of art opened my whole mind. Never believed in, in me until I found you. You caused the creation of a new me. Love, Karen from Germany. Well, Karen from Germany, I really appreciate it. I, I really appreciate that comment a lot. I have gotten similar comments over time for pe from people who have started painting because of pouring. And it's really been amazing how these paint pouring techniques have given people the incentive and the courage and the excitement to believe in themselves and that they can actually try this. The video that Karen commented on was one of my uh, flower blowing techniques. And the flower techniques have been a kind of a segue for a lot of people to believe in themselves that they can actually do this. It's a simple technique. It's fun. So in honor of Karen and all of those others out there who I have heard from or maybe I haven't heard from, I'm going to do a flower painting today. And we're going to revisit this blowing technique. It's a lot of fun. It's easy. And if you haven't tried it, well, here's a, a good reason to start. So I want to show you what I've did yesterday. I often practice on watercolor paper. I did these yesterday and I was working out the colors I wanted to use. I have watercolor paper on my Amazon shopping list. I really use it a lot. It's one of my secret weapons. A lot of people don't think they can do paintings, pours on watercolor paper, but it really works well. It's just a, it's just a great tool to have in your arsenal. And I'm going to be using Arteza canvas today. These are, I'm going to be doing two canvases today. They're 12 by 12. They're made by Arteza. Really good canvases. Again, they're on my shopping list. Here is another thing I did because I can. I painted each side a different color. It's unconventional, but it's fun and it just it just shows that you can do whatever you want with, with your artwork. You don't have to uh, remain in the conventional sense. I started doing these different colors a few years ago because I wanted my paintings to be fun. I don't do it every single time, but I wanted to show you this today. And what I did here, this is this is not the pouring paint. This is straight acrylic paint. It goes on easier. It might take two coats. You can paint these edges just for something a little different. It'll dry in just a few minutes, maybe 15, 20 minutes, and you can go right on and move on with your paint pour. There's no rules. So here's more proof there's no rules. Do this and amaze your friends. So let's get started. I, I like starting these, these blown flowers with a wet white background. And I'm using my own line of happy medium paint ready to pour. We'll go through these colors that I'm going to use today. But anyway, let's, let's get started with the wet white background. It takes a little practice to know how much. I've certainly poured too much. I've poured not enough. There's no actual measurement, but I'm going to spread this white around with my hands. I want full coverage so when I do the, the flowers, the flowers will be able to move freely over this wet surface. And I also don't care if the white goes over onto the edges. I do like edges. I do like the pour to go over the edge. It's part of, of the look of this type of painting. So even though I painted the edges, I don't care about what happens. I want some of this color to go over the edge. And some of the flower colors will make sure it goes over the edge. Okay, there's the white. Now I'm going to use a touch of, this is one of my pearls called Bluebird. One of the things I was trying to work out in these two watercolor, I mean watercolor paper paintings was do I want a blue background or a gold? I like both, so I'm going to use both. This this blue here I think was a little too much. Again, it's just something I worked out. The decision I made is just personal preference. Let me set these aside. So what I'm doing here is whatever color you use here first is going to affect your flowers. So I want to keep this to a minimum. There's some blue. 
I'm going to go across with gold as well. This is really more blue than I wanted, but that's the way stuff goes. Sometimes it works out for the best. I'm going to spread it around to make it look a little more natural. Let it flow up and down. And you'll see when these flowers are done that this these colors will affect your flowers some. But what I'm shooting for here is just something other than just plain white. That's my whole purpose here. Just a little more interesting than plain white. So you can see when I smear this around, it's, it's a lot more subtle. I'm going to wipe some of this blue off. Okay, now I'm ready for the flowers. This is going to be a puddle pour. I've chosen my colors. On my, on my Happy Medium paints, it's got it's paint, it's pouring medium, it's got silicone in it. If you're not familiar with my new line of paint, it's ready to pour. All I have to do is shake it up before I use it and start pouring. And once I shake it up, it doesn't need to be constantly shaken. I just do it like if it's been sitting a while. So I'm going to work on both canvases at once. This is Raspberry Shake. It's going to be Puddles. This will be, these two will be larger flowers. This pink is called Flamingo. I love it. It's a bright pink. Okay, that was sunflower yellow. I'm going to come back with some white. Again, th this size will increase once I blow the flowers out. So you want to be careful and not overdo the pour. What I'm going to do now is start a new flower down here. This one's going to go across both canvases. We'll see what happens there. Now I'm introducing another color. This is Aztec Orange. I'm going to just use it on this one. It's a pearl. Come back with some Flamingo here and here. Let's see. I'm going to stop right there. I can always add more flowers as this develops. I'm ready now. Here's my straw, drinking straw. Okay, decision time. These these need to be bigger. You can always add to this. This is just a back and forth. I, I see I want I want more strength up here, so I'm gonna add more of this raspberry shake color. You can always change things, add to them. It's a process of seeing what it is that you like. And what they might need. This one down here looks like it needs something. I'm going to leave this one pink and yellow. Okay, let me look and see what I want to do. This one's getting a nice size to it. Okay, I'm going to I'm looking at some empty areas. I'm going to add some a small flower here. There's the flamingo and some more sunflower yellow. 
these look good together. I'll see how that looks. Small flower. One more small flower down here, and then I'm going to go to some green after that. Pink, raspberry, white in this one. Here's a small flower. Now, I'm going to make this one a lot bigger. I see it needs to come this way, and I also want it to, I want this one to run over the edge. Little bit of pink and then we'll see where that goes. Now we got some action on this one which is actually kind of fun. It's different than the others. I like this one the way it is. This is a, you got a couple small ones. You've got one bridging over here and another one that's slightly different. So I'm going to go to the green now and see where it takes us. This is green green. It's just a nice straight leafy green and I'm going to be careful and not pour too much. If you're not comfortable pouring out of the bottle, you can pour this into a cup and you have maybe a little more control. But I'm just going to go for it here and see. I'm not going for realism here. It's just kind of a fun look of some greenery that's going to be threaded throughout and connecting some of these flowers. Now on these, I'm not going to blow these. I'm going to use my candy apple stick, which is one of my favorite tools. And I'm going to drag some of this green around so it looks leafy. It looks like stems, but it's not exact anything. It just gives you the impression of of the green stuff that runs through. It's starting to tie these flowers together a little more. There's too much green there. You can see it's starting to look like something. Even though I'm just really doing kind of random stuff here. But it does tie, start to tie this together. I need some green on this one. I'm just going to steal it from over here. Give that flower a reason, an anchor. Now we'll go over to this one, do the same thing. Just moving things around, sort of making leaf shapes, not too worried about it. This is very abstract. You can have some running up here. You can steal. I got a big puddle here. I'll just steal it and drag it up here. What the heck? You want this to look spontaneous. And people will appreciate it when they see how fun, how much fun you're having. So I love my stick. It's a very primitive way of painting. Okay. I like to add some black, but I don't want to get pour too much. So I'm going to pour some into a cup so I can control it a little. And I'm going to add black centers to these flowers. The smaller ones don't need much. But hey, if it comes out a little bit more, then you just go with it. This one will be interesting. I'm going to bridge the canvas with that. Now I'm going to go a little center in this big one. And then this one. Now I'm going to blow on these gently. You can see the color started mixing, which is nice. I just gave it a few gentle blows. Another thing you can do is go just drag a little bit out there. I'm going to keep going with these others. That's enough for that. 
Oh, I like that. Okay, here we go with this one. This looks like a big poppy to me. I don't know. Just softening these edges of the centers. Oh, that's cool. I'm going to leave that right like it is. You can see the cells coming up as this runs back. That's, that's the stuff that you love to see happen. That one I'm going to leave as well because it had a bunch of cells come up. Now as a final touch, I'm going to go back with my black and my stick and I'm going to outline part of this. It kind it strengthens your composition, it defines the flowers, but you don't want it to look too outliny. So I'm not going over the whole thing. I'm just going over part of it. And again, it's very spontaneous looking, just helps to find some of these shapes. That's all I'm doing. And if you have a leaf shape, you can draw some veins or not. Just a suggestion for the viewer. I'm suggesting that that is kind of a leaf shape. See, I, I jump, I jump around, but that's okay. I'm gonna leave that one. Do some more over here, so there's continuity between these two paintings. These paintings can be hung together or separate. They stand alone, or they could be a diptych, not a dipstick, but a diptych. That's when two paintings go together. You can see this is very loose. I even got a few black splatters, which I don't mind. There it is, just me and my stick. So I know a lot of you have tried these, these candy apple sticks. You can use a skewer, but these are these are really nice because it's more like a, a pencil thickness instead of the flimsy bamboo stuff that you get in the store. So I really like these. These are on my Amazon shopping list. I've been using these for years. So go primitive. It's like, I don't know, caveman painting or something. But anyway, I love these flowers. I really appreciate everybody who has done these. There's been some really, really good stuff I've seen on my Facebook group, Paint Pouring People. I, please, I hope you'll join and if you haven't already, and show me your flowers. So I appreciate all of you. If you like my videos, please consider supporting me on PayPal, Patreon. I also have merchandise at paintpouringpeople.com. Got some cool coffee cups, t-shirts. I'm wearing a buffalo t-shirt. You can't see it because I've got my apron on. But here's my coffee cup that has cold coffee in it right now all my original designs and we really appreciate your support any way you would like to support the channel and check out my website happymedium.fun for all the colors that I'm using in today's video will be listed today it will be listed below in the description we've gotten really great feedback on happy medium paints ready to pour please check it out happymedium.fun I hope you'll give it a try it's ready to go it's got everything in it silicone pouring medium my own special colors of paint that I've worked on for a long time to get this just right. There's 22 colors. Please check it out. And thanks for watching. Get, leave me a comment, like, subscribe if you haven't already. And we'll see you next time.